Well, I can't believe it, but we did it. We made it to the end of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm still kind of basking in the, the the great feeling that the last two episodes gave me. But yeah, today will be the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood blooper reel, which has been highly requested for a very long time. This might end up just being a seven minute video of me <laughs> me watching and laughing, but here we go. Blooper reel begin. Hey everybody, this is Mike Hi. McFarland, the Hi, Mike. ADR director, line producer, and voice of Havoc for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. You did a great job, for Mike. For this fifth <laughs> and final volume, we've put together a little something extra for you. Uh, we have a collection of outtakes that span the entire series. I get the feeling that the dub was a lot of fun to work on. They did a phenomenal job with the cast, in my opinion. You can tell, or at least it feels to me, that they were very into it. I feel like every production has its own culture, just like, you know, most workplaces. And there are moments where you just seem to end up with the best combination of things, and those productions are are a blast to work on. And I think there's probably a correlation between that feeling, like the enjoyment of it, and the, the quality of work. Just a little note on this particular extra, there is some adult language sprinkled in throughout oh, good, these outtakes. Good. So that's just a little warning for you in case that's not really your cup of tea. With all those things in mind, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I uh, see you've made a new group of friends. We're not. It's more like we're all in the same sinking ship. That's right. And I guess you could say I'm the captain of that ship. So you're the one in charge? Then how about leaning over here and giving me a kissy? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, he... What? He responded so quickly. He was ready for that. Sure. Acting. <laughs> Acting talent. <laughs> so that was a number one with tater tots and a jumbo <laughs> Can I interest you in an apple pie today, sir? <laughs> Their faces make it so much better. The sexual method that's used in the Ishvalan region. They mainly double team. Nope, that's close. Oh my god, what? But that's this is making me cropping. uncomfortable. I did not expect that. That wasn't adult language at all, but why was that weird? <laughs> double cropping. Don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> this is ground control! Calling Major Tom! Okay, very wow. cute. Okay. Wow. You can see the entire countryside today, huh? Yeah. How about I push you off this roof and break the arm you just got back? Yeah. No, ow! <laughs> Not my Al. God, I'm sorry. You must find this dull, being a soldier and all. Quite the contrary. Mm. The homunculi refer to those unfortunate enough to have unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately <laughs> unfolded the He just fought his line. <laughs> That's great. It's bizarre seeing Armstrong curse, but I love it. Armstrong's actor did such a good job, like, turning that mistake into something hilarious. The homunculi refer to those unfortunate enough to have unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, unfolded the portal of... Happiness, whatever the fuck. The portal happiness. <laughs> Let's just see how this plays out. Chimeras, huh? Fucking sweet. <laughs> getting close. So you can feel it too, huh? You mean you can sense his presence or something? No, I'm a man. I'm good with directions. <laughs> We've been acting right, as Miss Ed. Winry's bodyguards. Huh? Hey, Ling. How you doing? What? Ooh. Sorry, the stable hand could never get his fill of liquor. Trust me, I've had to drink for him. Tommy's boyhood dream was to become a respected scholar. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a good friend of mine. Couldn't understand a word he said, but I help him drink his wine. <laughs> okay. I know it's a little late, but congratulations on heading the Armstrong family. Flowers suck ass. Fair, fair. Stand back a few steps. Then it's time to part ways. Huh? We're staying. We can't turn our backs on this fight now. We're on a path leading directly to the heart of the enemy. We didn't come all this way just to stop the chance to pass up my balls in the hallway. <laughs> He's, so good. <laughs> He's so good at ad living. He has a real knack for improving the dialogue. Hire this guy as a writer. I mean, it makes sense to me. Like, I've never stop the chance to prevent my balls in the hallway. Let's talk a moment. How are you able to use your outer? Your face has sprawled! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it won't take much time for their soldiers to fully regroup and seize the building. Let's look at the door. Everyone looks. Good instructions. <sighs> so. Your soul has entered you, huh? But will he be coming back for you? He won't. 
That's the end. That one cuts a little bit too close to home, because that could have happened. <sighs> Mr. Heinkel, grab on! We're not giving up! You brothers are really something else. I'm trying to save your life, asshole! Just determined to help another person. Why is it Al? Of course it would be Al. Al! Al, are you alright? Already. Well, I'm afraid the sooty air of Central doesn't agree with me. Farewell to you, comrades. I'll see you on the other side. Someday we'll find it. The Rainbow Connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. I've seen this a thousand times in the comments. Tell me. You go by Scar. What's your real name? My name? Fuck you. Hmm. Is that a Glen Gary Glen Ross reference? I've been in this business 15 years. What's your name? Fuck you. That's my name. <laughs> That's the last one. Hmm. Cute. I don't need a name. Call me anything. Fair enough. Now I'm going to go take the hottest, longest <laughs> bath in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day. Oh no. So, Every time I see I've Al. I've been thinking about something lately. Me too. I think we should try to bring Mom back. No, stop. <laughs> Please. Let's just see how this plays out. Chimeras, huh? Oh, shit. They love that scene. A dog? Stop it! Now, Gluttony! Uh, uh, a talking dog? Cute. <laughs> Within him is a philosopher's stone powered by many thousands of people. You could say he's used its energy to claim the powers of God for himself. Now, will you please put on a fucking shirt? <laughs> no! No, he can't put on a, sh a, a shirt. Stop. That's half his appeal. Or a lot more, probably. Now, will you please put on a fucking shirt? <laughs> but I love his sour expression. <sighs> but when I considered the enormity of what was at stake and what I could do, I relented and accepted my only choice. I bought that shake weight you see on TV. <laughs> no, that's why people were talking about shake day. weights. I get it now. <laughs> I mean, if I can get that with a shake weight, I'm there. Name's greed. No greed. I will not kiss you. This is what you desperately wanted. Isn't it? Please don't die! Fuck you, Bob! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that was too good. I feel like it's the sudden ones that work best. But Hohenheim really speaking for the audience there. The way he summed up that whole scene in just three words. <laughs> that's what everyone's thinking. Fuck you, Bob! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, what the? Does he have his arms? And his legs? Yes, sir. I mean, I like Stu too. Oh, that's it? Oh, Damn, I could have watched an hour of that. I'm gonna watch it again. <laughs> the homunculi refer to those unfortunate enough to have unfortunately, unfortunately unfolded the portal of happiness. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a good friend of mine. Couldn't understand a word he said, but I <laughs> helped him drink his wine. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a path leading directly to the heart of the enemy. We didn't come all this way just to stop the chance to pass up my balls in the hallway. <laughs> Are you sure about this? <laughs> oh man, I think Let's it's my talk favorite. A moment. How are you able to use your arm? <laughs> your face has flowed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like these get better the second time. Now, will you please put on a fucking shirt. <laughs> 
Man, it was so good. I think my favorites are the Armstrong flub, flubbed lines. I love Ed's great idea. I kind of wish that was real because then we might get a sequel. I love Hohenheim's F him up. I love Ling's and now could you please put a shirt on? They're almost all great. Some of them actually seem in character like Olivier Armstrong's lines. All right, well, we did it. We watched the blooper reel. It delivered as expected, even though I recognized a lot of it from, from comments. The comments on these videos suddenly make so much more sense. But yeah, but that's not the end. We still have the Q&A coming very soon. So yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys very soon for that.